Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to calculate the shaded fraction of a circle. Now, it really depends on what the shaded part of the fraction actually represents, because sometimes different shading will give you different regions. But uh, it all starts with the area of a circle formula, which is area is equal to pi r squared. So where it goes from there really depends on what the shaded region happens to be. So for example, if you have a triangle embedded within a circle and it's shaded, then what you have to think about is it's the area of the circle minus the area of the triangle. Now you have to think about the area of a triangle formula and the area of a triangle is area is equal to one half base times height. So if you want to find the area of the shaded region, you have to take into account a couple of things, the radius, and go from there. So when it comes to, if you have a rectangle, for example, inside a circle, then you have to take into account the radius, but um, in the end, you have to think about its area is equal to length times width. Now, where the area of the, of the circle comes into play is sometimes if you're shading the rectangle, you can use this formula, but let's just say if you were to find the shaded region of the regions outside the circle, then you have to use the formula of the area of the circle minus the area of the rectangle. It all depends on, again, what it is that you're shading, and then go from, from there. But this is actually the foundation of where you're starting from. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to find the shaded fraction of a circle.